Hello and welcome and today we're going to be looking at using styles in Google Docs. Styles are preset formats that you can apply to text. This provides a consistent look to your document. It also enables quick universal changes to be made to formatting and opens up other features with Docs such as table of contents and links within your document. So if we look at our document here, we've already just got a blank document that's got some text in. Now with Google Docs, by default you come with some preset styles and you can see this in the drop down here. You can see the styles or if you go to format, there's an option here for paragraph styles. This doesn't show you what they look like very well. So you're better off using the drop down. So at the moment this is just set as normal text. I can then change it to one of these different styles. So if I want to change it to title, such as I'm using there in my document, then I can type more here. Equally, I could then just insert different styles here, like a subtitle or another heading or back to normal text. There is a limit to the number of styles you can use. And if I sc scroll down, you can only see three there. And if I go into the format tool here, it only goes down to heading six. So there are limits to the amount of styles you can use. As I said, they come with some default styles, but not everyone might like those styles. And so you can change them. So if I want to change my title style here, what I could do is select the text I've got here. So I can select my font. Let's go for something quite interesting. I could make it bold. I could change the size. I could change the color. Now, if I don't do anything else, the actual style hasn't changed. But what I'd like to do is select my text, go into the little arrow here, and update title to match. So it's updated that, so that now you can see that is the new style that is now saved. Now if we think about text here, so I've got more text here, if I then make a change to this style, so imagine again, I want a different font. I'm going to have open sans. If I then go into normal text and update normal text to match, it will then also change the style of other text that has that style in the document. So obviously if you've got a long document and you want to make a change to the style, it means you don't have to go into each paragraph and change that, but you can just do it in one place. Another option you do have in your styles drop down is options here and you can actually save your styles as a default so imagine you set up a style sheet and you really like everything you've done you can save that as your default styles which will then be applied to other google docs once you open them if you have made some horrific errors you can actually then go and reset styles and that will just apply the google docs default just so you're aware, there are a couple of add-ons you can get as well by going to get add-ons. If I type in styles, paragraph styles plus and styles, I'll just show you what they do. Paragraph styles plus allows me to manage styles in a different way using this add-on. It also allows me to add some custom styles in. Um, so if I click on edit, I can then choose a different type of formatting I want. So I can then add extra styles other than just the ones Google Docs allows by default. Close that down. The other one was styles. And what this does is it gives you some default styles that you might want to choose. So I can click here. Um, so these are preset and I could choose something I like and then apply that style and it will apply it to my sheet. I hope you have found this video helpful. We have many more training videos on our training site and YouTube channel. You can also email us with any queries.